Hello people. I'm just down by Hilton Creek in Portsmouth. They forecast a very high tide today with slight storm surges. We've got like seven southerly winds and a bit of a low pressure. So it's Hilton Creek, but I've never seen this high for a long time. I'll show you how high the water is under the bridge. You normally on a high tide you normally got like a couple of feet under the bridge. Look how look at that. Water's like virtually up to the top of the bridge arch there. I've never seen it that high for years. Long time. Like mega high. See, this is obviously this is tidal. See, the water's even up on the footpath along there. See where that, that sort of long grass is just on the on the ground sort of long grass here. That's a footpath. They walked right up on the footpath. And somewhere along there, there's not there's like a depth gate, like a black and white depth gauge stick. Tell you how deep the water is. It's, it's completely under the water. It's even, it's even come up on this little footpath where I'm standing now. Never seen that eye before. It's a bit more, I'm, I'm around the other side of the creek now where they're building the flood defences, new flood defences. You can see why they need to build them. That's the new flood defence wall there. I suppose the water's about four foot down from that. Just that little slope just there. That's the old that's the height of the old flood defence, isn't it? It's virtually the sea's virtually up to the top of that now. So you can see why they need to increase the height. See how fast the water's flowing under the bridge and all the all, all the crap and that's washed down leaves and bits of stick and a couple of brooms there, all sorts. Focus. See how fast the water's flowing under the bridge there. All the rubbish and stuff's washing away. Subway, one of the subway, you can see how high the water is. It's gone down a little bit now, it's about 20 minutes later, but it's nearly up to the top of the slope, going up to the subway there. I think they'll be putting floodgates on there for too long. See how the water's virtually up to the bottom of that footbridge. Bottom of the train bridge, you can't see it very well there. You walk under there at low tide, walk, walk under there back in the summer, the water's up actually touching the bottom of the bridge there. So it's still pretty high. 